Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at positive and negative angles for the sine, cosine and tan graphs so we can use them to solve trigonometric equations. So what we're going to need here to use a lot is the sine, cos and tan graphs and first of all we're going to start looking at acute angles between 0 to 90 degrees. So what we're going to look at is the question of writing sine of 130 as sine of an acute angle. Okay, so what we'd need here is a little sketch, it doesn't need to be perfect, of the sine graph to give us a rough shape of it. And 130 is going to be the marker here. It's going to have a marker at 130 here. So what we'll need is effectively the same marker that will give us the same sine value as 130 will. So the way we're going to think of this is the symmetry around the point of 90 degrees will be back 40 from 130 to 90 and then it will go a further 40 around till it reaches 50. So here what we can say is that sine of 130 is equal to sine of 50 and this technique is going to come in really useful for when we solve trigonometric equations. Let's have a go at another one then. So let's write cos of minus 120 as cos of an acute angle. So the graph for cos of minus 120 is going to look like this. The minus 120 marker is going to be here. So then what we'll need here is to use the symmetry of the cos graph to move it up to 90, minus 90 degrees. That would be moving 30 in the positive direction. Moving 30 upwards again we'll move it to minus 60 and due to the symmetry over the zero line it's going to give us 60 degrees at this marker here. So cos of minus 120 in fact because it's a negative down here this value here is going to be equal in value to this point here it would just be the negative, negative of it. So cos of minus 120 here is going to equal minus cos of 60. And the 60 here is the acute angle, but we need a negative on there because it's going to be the negative of uh, cos of minus 120. Okay, and a very similar thing can be done for tan. Tan is slightly easier because it just repeats itself every 180 degrees. So if we want to put the marker at 190, to move back to an acute angle, we move back 180, so we get 10 degrees. So in this case here, tan of 190 is going to equal tan of 10 degrees. Okay, so we've seen it there for all of the sine, cos and the tan graphs. Uh, your turn to have a go at some questions now from exercise 10a. Pause the video and have a go at these two. Right, okay, then let's have a look at sine of 240. So the first thing I need to do here is draw out a quick sketch of the sine graph. So this is going to cross here at 240. It's going to cross and meet its trough at 270. So 240 is going to be roughly here. Express sine of 240, 240 as an acute angle. So what we'll use here is the fact we need to take away... 60 to get to this point here, so we'll need to take away 60 to get to this point here on the symmetry of 180 and then so therefore we'll have to move up from 60 from this point here to get to the same value. However it's going to be the same value but the negative, um, the negative of it, so um, what we're going to have here is sine of 240 is going to equal minus, because because uh, it is a negative um, on this side here, of 60 degrees. Okay, so that's how we turn that into an acute angle. Express cos of minus 50. Well, cos here, let's, we'll need the positive and the negative side here. Looks something like this. So 50, uh, 90, minus 90 degrees will be here, minus 50 degrees will be here. So moving across, it's just going to be 50 degrees here, using the symmetry of the cos graph. So here, cos of minus 50 
is going to equal cos of 50. So that one's a nice easy one. Right, so make sure you have plenty of practice this from exercise 10a. It's going to come in really useful when we solve trigonometric equations later on. Thanks for watching.